the recovery in the Senex is recovery of the puer. That's the recovery. It's the recovery of the freedom that was once there and has been disrupted by old age. So it's, whereas it seems as if you're more limited, less able, more trapped, more caged, uh, more dependent, uh, and unable, at the same time, there's something about freedom that happens. And the focus is not recovery of the condition before, usefulness and ability, but the recovery of the puer, the other half of the senex, the recovery of that initial um, range, range of thought, range of fantasy, range of imagination. And that's why I think in the old pseudo-Aristotle text that was considered a furor melancholicus that the mind of the of, of, uh, of, of the Senex, of Saturn, it was this, those under the rule of Saturn was, had the farthest range of all. And that kind of enormous range is in like Beethoven's last quartets. Here's an old man who's deaf, who is really unable, and the music is as far as music can go for some who say that. So he recovered something in the midst of disability by letting the imagination go. But that imagination had spent many, many, many years working his gift all the years prior, working his gift. That is, staying faithful to the original vision. And that's the, the, the important thing. It isn't being related to your partner or being related to all the things that we use the word relationship for and drive the poor man into a frenzy of anxiety. Uh, but being related to the calling, to whatever that strange thing is that wounds him and names him. <laughs> 